A little investigation revealed that there was actually nothing so shocking about these findings. The forests of many a nation had faced a similar problem from medieval iron and steel smelting. European forests as large as the Amazon were decimated by smelters. From North America to Scandinavia, traditional iron smelting is acknowledged to have scalped the forest for charcoal. Even in Africa, the effects of iron smelting on forests has been acknowledged. A German forester reported that only 1.5% of the forests in the Basar region of Togo remained intact at the turn of the 19th century, while the rest was converted to savanna. But what surprised me is why this fact had never been given much importance in Indian ecological history. Although the advances in and extent of iron and steel smelting in India is widely known. I felt as if I had unfairly singled out the traditional blacksmith and charcoal maker as destroyers of forests. But they were only doing what society needed them to. Rather, quite contrary to accusing them, I feel that the importance of iron making is overlooked. We recognize the role of agriculture and the farmer, but often forget that of industry in the past. And the landscapes I painted of a pre-railways past may well not be as green as I had imagined.